Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys some pros and cons of a PCM and pros and cons of Bitstream and how to utilize your HD receiver. And I'm not talking about UHD, I'm talking about HD. So the UHD receivers are the 4K resolution and the 4K audio and the HD receivers are the 2K uh, resolution and the uh, DTS HD and uh, True HD surround sound. Then I'm gonna give you guys uh, what you guys should do for the for each uh, type of receiver, the UHD and the HD. So first off, let's get some understanding of PCM and Bitstream. Pretty much, Bitstream is pretty much uh, it only works with high-tech players that support surround sound formats the files are bit encoded for the duration of the recording according to the specific surround sound format the receiver decodes the audio it supports both wired and wireless connections from a compatible media player potentially for higher quality audio limited secondary audio quality only works with digital sound transmission 5.1 support digital optical or coaxial. That is pretty much what Bitstream is. PCM. PCM works with most CD, DVD, and Blu-ray players. PCM files are converted from analog signals. The Blu-ray player decodes the audio, requires a wire connection from the source device to the AB receiver, requires higher bandwidth, better for secondary audio channels, Support both analog and digital transmission. Limited digital optical or coaxial output. So that is pretty much PCM and Bitstream. The pros and cons of a PCM. PCM has better quality access to additional audio tracks, quicker direct and eliminates lag. Less work for the receiver. Decoding is done in the player, Blu-ray players or any player device. The con of the PCM it transmits a two signal channel over digital optical or coaxial. Audio quality is partially determined by the player, Blu-ray player or any player. More work is done by the player, but also um, keep in mind that the PCM, even though it says it transmits a two signal over digital optical, um, that's not always the case. You can do 5.1 and 7.1 on PCM. So the Bitstream pros and cons. The pros for Bitstream sends an encoded 5.1 signal over digital optical or coaxial, possibly of higher quality sound. If the receiver offers higher quality audio processing, it can be used. The home receiver decodes audio. The cons of Bitstream is that some supplemental audio is scaled down, which decreases quality. It requires a high quality receiver to achieve better results. More work is placed on the receiver. Yes, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. All right, now, just keep in mind also, we're talking about HDMI. If you're running anything optical, obviously you're gonna decode that in uh, Dolby Digital and uh, DTS, what? DTS, which is uh, digital theater sound. But if you wanna run Dolby Digital, Plus, Dolby True HD, DTS, DTS HD, Dolby Atmos, DTS X. You want to run all those format. The only way it will decode it is that if you put that in Bitstream. And Bitstream is a lossless surround sound. And if you're running Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD, uh, True HD. And um, DTS X, those are all lost the surround sound. And not to be confused, PCM is also lossless surround sound because it's uncompressed. Dolby Digital and regular DG DTS, those are compressed audio. So I'll say it again Dolby Digital DTS are compressed audio. That being said, that means that when you run PCM, it's lossless. So that's what you want. And also when you run uh, True HD, DTS HD, Dolby Atmos, DTS X, those are also 
lossless. That's just some fundamental facts about uh, those I just mentioned. But how do you utilize? How do you utilize uh, your 4K UHD receiver? Obviously, if whatever source is available, you want to run that standard source. So if your source is uh, a format of DTS HD and uh, Dolby Atmos and whatnot, you're going to want to run your content in Bigstream when you run HDMI for that lossless surround sound and the, 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 the decode that you want to run your surround sound. For a UHD, run that on a UHD receiver, which is Adobe Atmos receivers. Run that on your standard Bitstream for everything. For a regular HD receivers, AVR, which is the which decodes basically uh, just either PCM or uh, DTS HD, uh, 2HD, and um, Dolby Digital Plus, um, all those sounds. If you're running HDMI and you're running like a movie, you're gonna want to run your player or device. Put that in PCM and run your movies in PCM. And even though there's not much difference between PC, it's said that there's not much difference between a PCM and uh, a Bitstream. When you when you're running a, a regular HD receiver, when you put it on PCM in PCM format. Uh, and and the movies like for instance Teledega Nights is has PCM. When you decode PCM, you're gonna get that lossless surround sound versus like uh, even though it's even though DTS HD and 2HD is is uh, takes over for you and make everything um, a lot uh, louder. And it all depends on your preference, but I found that when you run uh, PCM for those sources on an HD receiver, your speakers is more clear, has more clarity. Uh, it has so much uncompressed audio, and when you run when you run PCM, that that it can damage your speakers. And if you run the wrong frequency, if your your speakers can't handle it, so keep that in mind. Also, when you run PCM uncompressed audio through your channels of your speakers. Keep in mind that it can ruin your speakers if you're running the wrong, the wrong frequency. So when you, like I uh, reiterate, when you have a HD receiver, AVR, I would put everything in PCM, like uh, if, your, if your video console has the option to do PCM, put that on PCM. Um, obviously your computer will be on PCM put that on PCM. Your Blu-ray players, put on on, PC, on a PCM. And um, you're gonna you're gonna notice that it's, it's really clear. And I remember when PCM came out, that was a thing. And then when True HD came out and DTS HD, it, there was a replacement of the PCM format and made it better. Which it was, which was great, um, but it just like I said, it depends on your on your uh, your uh, your ears, and it depends on your preference. So my recommendation is, if you only have an HD receiver AVR, I uh, recommend put everything in PCM, and uh, and and it's and you'll li you'll love it if you haven't tried that. And obviously for a UHD AVRs, we'll just keep the standard uh, bitstream because uh, that is, because with Adobe Atmos surround sound, that is that is the, the, the latest technology and the bitstream for that is lossless and the bitstream for that uh, 
is is beautiful and keep in mind if you're running optical it's only on it's only for uh, W digital and uh, DTS and and the reason why I come to this conclusion for the uh, PCM for the regular HD receivers is back then all the receivers I had that were HD like the Onkyo and the Denons um, back before they had Dolby Atmos receivers when you play a, a video game um, it sounded a lot better in PCM in my in my opinion um, and and as far as uh, those HD receivers like the Ankyo ones that I had and the, the Denon ones I had they had high channels so when you put the high channels and run it in PCM you really get the lots of surround and and you get the back in the back in those receiver days that's how you get your your 3d surround sound because of the high channels that they offered with those HD receivers and then fast forward to today you got the Dolby Atmospheres and your DTS-X and that's your 3d surround sound because of your uh, high channels and but with those high channels it decodes better with the Dolby Atmos um, and you get more of a, of a lossless 3D surround sound because it's Dolby Atmos and and keep in mind that uh, Dolby Atmos versus a DTS-X you'll notice that the Dolby Atmos as of right now it's a standard for the 4K receivers and it's more thump and it's the best audio that you can and format and decode that you're gonna get for the lossless surround sound for your receiver, Dolby Atmos. But for the that's for the UHD receivers. And previously, uh, if you didn't know, for the the regular HD receivers, the the sound that was the best that they had the sound that was best was DTS HD master audio. Everything that everything on Blu-ray was either True HD or uh, DTS and uh, HD, and DTS HD was dominant as far as sound and quality for my ears. But fast forward to today, obviously the Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital uh, took it back, and Dolby Digital formats Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, whatever, but Dolby Atmos is the sound that you want to put and run everything that decodes it as much as possible. So in conclusion, if you have a UHD receiver, run everything in Bitstream. If you have a regular HD receiver, put it in PCM. That's what I would do. And that way when you play games and you watch movies, and especially if your receiver has high channels like my, my regular HD receivers had, that is your, the closest thing, the nearest thing to quality of a UHD receiver. I, I reiterate one more time. If you only have a 2K HD receiver that decodes only true HD and DTS HD, I recommend the way to utilize that surround sound receiver is put that in PCM because when you put that in PCM that will be the nearest quality as if you would have, have a 4K UHD receiver that runs Dolby Atmos. So I hope you guys learned something there. And that is my recommendation for the regular HD receivers. Put that in PCM format. And for the Ultra HD receivers, you put that in Bitstream for, and every source that goes through it. So that is how you utilize, that's, that's how you utilize your HD receivers. 
by putting it in PCM and decoding that. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hooded Dragons out.